This is a story about how I got floor tickets. Let me repeat. Floor tickets to see Beyonce. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Nika. I am a 28 year old graduate student at Columbia University studying psychology. I'm also a yoga instructor and apparently a YouTuber. <laughs> My goal is to get 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and we're currently at 720 at the time of recording this. So if you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button, I would love ya. Okay, so I thought I'd hop on here really fast to tell you guys about my Beyonce experience because I am still processing it, and honestly, it was life-changing. I live in New York City, and Beyonce played in New Jersey at the MetLife Stadium, so it was a doozy getting there but i'm gonna share my vlog soon probably the next video i post will be the vlog so if you're interested in just seeing like a day of my life and like how i got to the stadium you can check out that video otherwise i want to tell you guys how this even happened so i get to the stadium right and i go to my seat if i'm being completely honest with you guys i already had a good seat like i was in the 100 section i paid literally like $365. I don't even know how this happened. Like I, in February, let's roll it back. Okay, so in February, I had a little Valentine's Day party. I invited all my girlfriends over and this is also around the time Beyonce's tickets went on sale and it was like a doozy to get a ticket. And I told myself, I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing the wait list. I'm not doing like the sitting up all night. Like I'm just not doing it. I'm gonna manifest a ticket. And I did. My girlfriend came over for the Valentine's Day event. She said she got tickets to see Beyonce in Houston with her friends later on in the tour, but she did get off the New York City wait list. So if I wanted a ticket, she was like, here, you can just use my code. Amazing, right? Like so great. There was just one problem. I was being cheap. I did not want to pay more than $500 for a ticket and all the tickets available were $500. So I literally was just like, Ugh, like do I have to just bite the bullet, buy this $500 ticket? Honestly, Beyonce is so, so worth it. But I literally was just like, ugh, like let me think about it, whatever. Literally, before the dinner was even over, a ticket appeared in the 100 section for like $365. I'm gonna look to see how much I sent her for the ticket exactly, but I paid under $400. It was crazy. Don't mind me, I'm just packing my lunch for work. And so the entire time I was like, I'm getting these tickets. Like, this is amazing. I have these tickets. I'm going by myself. I'm totally fine with that. Who cares? So I get to MetLife this weekend. Fast forward now. Now it's this weekend, right? Beyonce time. I walk into my seat and literally there's like this huge lighting fixture. Like I, I can't sit there. Like where I'm supposed to sit, there's like a huge light. And the security guy was like, Oh yeah, Beyonce decided like a few hours ago that she wanted to move the light. So now, you know, like everyone in this section or in this area, like we have to reticket you. But like guest services is completely aware of this. So just go down there, see what they say. They'll issue you a new ticket. And I'm like, oh yeah, fine. I'm walking on over there and literally I'm not even thinking like, oh, I'm going to get like four tickets. No, like I literally thought that they were just gonna move me around somewhere in the 100s. Like I literally thought I was just gonna have like the same ticket, just like to the left. So when I arrive at guest services, the lady is like kind of agitated and like annoyed. She like walks out from guest services and it's like, if your ticket says no view of the show, like don't even bother waiting in line. Like you're not gonna get another ticket, which, I didn't even know it was possible to buy a ticket at a concert that didn't have a view. Like, why would you do that? I was so confused. But anyway, like, so people are like kind of in line. The girl behind me is like on the phone talking to her friend, like, hey, like, how did you freeze it to get your seat upgraded? Like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm literally just sitting here like, I'm just gonna, you know, do what it, what it is. So I walk up to her and I'm like, oh, like the guy, told me to show you this picture um, and tell you that, you know, I can't sit there and I need a new ticket. And she's like, no, 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 I don't want to see a picture. Like, show me your actual ticket. So I show her my ticket, she sees my seat number, my row, and like, 
clearly that is exactly where the light fixture is. Like I can't sit there, I need a new ticket. And so she looks at me and she goes, oh, are you by yourself? And I was like, yep, just me. Like there are very few artists that I would see completely by myself and Beyonce is one of them. Like I do not need an entourage to see Beyonce. I know the catalog in my heart and my soul. Like I don't need all my friends to come with me to see Beyonce. So when I tell her I'm here by myself, she's like, oh, come to the back. But I'm like kind of confused. I'm like, I don't know why she wants me to come to the back but like sure whatever and like literally there's so many people like around the crowd she has to be like excuse me move like literally just for me to get back there into the back office with her and so I get there and she goes hand me your right arm so I give her my arm obviously because why not and she literally just looks at me and she goes we're sending you to the floor. You're gonna go out of here, make a left, find the escalators. There's gonna be a security guard at the bottom of the escalator. Tell me your VIP, walk straight down. And I literally cannot even process. Like she's talking a mile a minute and I'm just like, oh my God, what is happening? I'm like, oh, like this is why she wanted me to come back here. Cause if I would have freaked out, like out there in front of all those people, they would have been like, we want floor tickets too, but wait, let me show you guys my ticket. I'm honestly going to frame this because what the fuck? And then this is the little armband that she put on me. This is like life changing. So I was in section three, row 21, seat 24. The floor, as you can see, right there. Like, I couldn't believe it. I paid like $350 for my ticket in the 100 section, which I already felt super blessed with, to then be moved onto the floor because Beyonce decided she wanted to change the lighting in her concert. Like, if I would have had a ticket for Saturday, the light wasn't there. So I just would have been in the 100 section, which is still a really great place to be. Like, I'm not complaining, but just like, wow. And what's so funny is I, I don't know if I mentioned this. I think I did. I studied psychology at Columbia University, but I have a concentration in the spirit, mind, body connection. So like spirituality, manifestations, things like that. And literally in February, I said I was gonna manifest a Beyonce ticket. And I was satisfied with what I had, but I really feel like the universe blessed me because I don't know, I don't even know why. <laughs> But when I bought my ticket, I wanted to get one that was 1111 because that was what was available. But the 11101 was just cheaper, so I went with that. And like literally, when I was walking there, I could just see the 111s, and those are angel numbers that I see all the time. And I just really feel like it was my angels like guiding me and like moving me into these tickets. And like, yeah, like I'm still freaking out because that was just such a testimony to like just believing in like the power of God. God is real. The universe is real. And like the way I just kept saying I'm gonna manifest Beyonce tickets and just and like I was completely fine. Like com like did not even think like oh I wish I had better seats. Like no. I was happy that I got in the 100s with the amount of money that I paid. Like I was completely satisfied and that's when like abundance comes when you're like in contentment with where you are in the present moment and oh, yeah that was just absolutely crazy thank you guys so much for joining and subscribing i've never had a video go like so big so fast um oh if you're a fan of beyonce and you're watching this i also posted all of my clips from the concert so it's like a 45 minute video of just like Beyonce performing from my floor seat view. So if you want to see the concert from my eyes, my point of view, you can go ahead and watch that video now. But yeah, like, ugh, I cannot believe. Thank you so much, Beyonce. Thank you. Thank you for changing your lights. <laughs> All right, I'm rambling, but thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And I hope to see you guys in like, watching more of my videos i know the beyonce one went really big really fast because obviously it's beyonce but i hope you guys like me a little bit too so i'll see you next time make sure you subscribe love you and i will see you in the next video bye
up. Oh God, nigga, don't they try to keep up?